Let's now discuss how to use this metric conversion chart. Now, there are lots of other ways that you could be taught how to convert metric to metric measurements. They're all ridiculous and they're hard. This is much easier. Trust me, this is the easiest way known to mankind in the history of the universe to, to do this. It's very simple. Consider something about other measurements that are not metric, like the things that we use, cups and pints and all kinds of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> there's all kinds of inconsistencies. For example, there are three teaspoons in a tablespoon, but there are two pints in a quart, but there are four quarts in a gallon. It's all kind of crazy, different kinds of inconsistent measurements. You have uh, 12 inches in a foot, but you have three feet in a yard, but you have 5,280 feet in a mile. It's all very inconsistent. So. One really nice thing about the metric system, there are many, many nice things about the metric system. One really nice thing is everything's in groups of 10. You have whatever measurement you're talking about, there's a word for 10 of those. Or they go in one tenth. They're always in tens of 10 times or one tenth of, or subdivisions of those. So here's what this chart represents. Our basic measurements, meter, gram, and liter. But let's go this way. Now realize when you write a number like 1,249, the farther this way you go, the numbers get bigger. The farther that way you go, the number gets smaller. Well, okay. So let's go bigger this way and smaller that way. So pick whether meter, gram, or liter. Let's go here, bigger. But let's get bigger by 10 times. There's a word for 10 times or 10 of any of these. 10 meters, whatever a meter is, 10 of those. Whatever a gram weighs, there's a word for 10 grams. Whatever a liter is, there's a word for 10 of those. Now you'll never use that in the medical field, so I don't need to clutter your mind with a word you don't need to know. There is a word, but it doesn't matter for us. Let's keep going though. Uh, let's go now. That was 10 of those. What if we go 10 times what we just did? If you have 10 of these and 10 of these makes 100 of those. So 10, then 100. There's a word for 100, whether it's 100 meters, whether it's 100 grams, 100 liters. You're not going to use that word either, so it really doesn't matter. But this we do need. Again, it's 10 times 10 times 10. 10 of these, but 10 times the previous is 100. 10 times 100 is 1,000. You'll need that over and over again. The word for 1,000 of whatever it is, is kilo. So kilo, and the abbreviation is a little k, lowercase. So whatever a meter is, what do you call 1,000 meters? Either say kilometer or kilometer, depends on where you're from. Whatever a gram weighs, what's a gram? What's a thousand of those grams? It's a kilogram. Whatever a liter is, a thousand of those is a kiloliter. Well, you, you will use kilogram. Now here's another real nice thing about the metric system. The terminology and the symbols are all very consistent. There's kilo. That's just the basic root for a thousand of them. What's a thousand grams? Why, it's a kilogram, little k, little g. You will use that in the medical field. Now, you're not going to use uh, kilometers in the medical field unless you're uh, reimbursed for your mileage going somewhere. Uh, you won't use kiloliters, but th that's the same consistent thing. It'd mean the same thing. Now, let's go the other way. Let's get smaller by one-tenth every time we move. So whatever a meter is, got about, uh, about oh, can barely get it in the picture there, about a little more than three feet. What do you call one tenth of that? Why one tenth? We don't need that word, so it doesn't matter. So don't clutter your mind with a word that you don't need to know. I mean, there's is, there's a word there, but you don't need that in the medical field. This next one, we do need that. I'm going to go back to a little bit later, though. Just put this on hold. Just kind of, you know, wait for them, okay? Let's keep getting smaller by one-tenth of the previous. A one-tenth of this is this. One-tenth of one-tenth is one-hundredth. 
One tenth of this is one thousandth. And this is the one you, we use all the time, every day, gazillions of times. The word for one thousandth of something is milli. And the symbol for that is a little m. Now, wait, you may be thinking, wait a minute, the little m is meter. Well, yeah, if you just see a little m by itself, it means meter. This m is never used by itself. It's always used before something, meaning <clears throat> whatever a meter is, what do you call one thousandth of a meter? It's about, by the way, it's about like, okay, about like this. Oh, where is it? There we go. About like this. It's about as thick as a dime. Now, not the diameter, but the thickness of a dime. That's not very much. So what is a thousandth of a meter called? A millimeter. You've heard of that. Whatever a gram weighs. Again, a gram, roughly speaking, you get a nickel, cut that into five little pieces. That's roughly a gram. So get that one-fifth of a nickel. Now cut that into a thousand little bitty pieces. You can barely see one of those, but still, you need that weight. So what's one thousandth of a gram? It's a milligram. Whatever a liter is. Yeah, that's roughly a quart, by the way. You should know that. Liter and quarter, mm, close enough. That's okay. Uh, what's one thousandth of that? Why well, a thousandth of a liter is a milliliter. And again, use a capital L. Every time you use the liter symbol, use a capital. Do not ever write a little L there. So those are the one thousandth of some things. Let's keep getting smaller by one tenth of the previous. One tenth of this is one ten thousandth. There's a word for that. You don't have to know it. One tenth of that is one, wow, one hundred thousandth of something. There's a word for that. You don't need it. Now you do need this next one. Go one tenth of this. That's my goodness gracious, one millionth of something. One millionth of something is the word micro, which means small. You take this course called microbiology, you're studying little bitty tiny things like bacteria and viruses. That's really small, one millionth of something. So whatever, now a meter, you're not gonna use micrometer in the medical field, but gram, you will use this. Whatever a gram weighs, here we go again. One fifth of a nickel is roughly a gram. Cut that one fifth of a nickel into a million little pieces. You couldn't even see it. You couldn't hardly weigh it anywhere, but that measurement exists. What do you call one millionth of a gram? Oh, here's a problem. Oh boy, we have a problem here. The prefix for one thousandth, just the prefix itself, is a little m. The prefix for kilo, a thousand, is a k. The prefix for micro is itself a two-letter symbol. mc for micro, which means microgram is a three-letter symbol. mcg, that's microgram. And a major caution, do not confuse milligram with microgram, very big difference. Like this is a thousand times the size of this one, okay? Got a big problem though. Officially, for decades and for centuries, the official symbol for microgram was this. Now that's a Greek letter. That's the Greek equivalent to our letter M. And so that, you'll see it probably. You, you probably will see it. Here's one of these things. You are never, ever, I said never, ever, supposed to use this symbol. Because you're not well acquainted with the Greek alphabet. You make that symbol, try to do that, it may look like an M. So if you make that symbol, but somebody else thinks it looks like an M, then they think it's milligram when it really is microgram, and you're in real trouble. So never, ever, under any circumstances, write this down. I just did, but I'm the boss. I can do this. So it's one of those things where you better know it when you see it. Did you hear me say that? You better know it when you see it, but don't ever use it. Another bad problem is 
you'll have, oh, let's say you go get, uh, go to the doctor. He sends you off to the lab. They take some blood. You get some blood work done. And they may, they may show this as a symbol looks like this. Well, that's not the symbol, but the printer, the way they print this lab stuff out of the idiot lab, they don't have on their printer a symbol like this, so it looks like this. So you'll see all kinds of crazy stuff. Again, know it when you see it. That's what that's supposed to mean, but that's a really squirrely, idiotic thing. You will always use what? MCG, micrograms. Now, you're not going to need micrometers or microliters in the medical field. You want as a nurse. So here we have, we have three major prefixes that we need. We have the kilo, and we'll use kilogram. We have milli. Again, you don't use that by itself. You use that with something else. And we have the MC for micro. You'll never use that by itself, but it'll be before something else like micrograms. Those are three main ones. There is another one, let me throw it in, but just to get you kind of situated here, to help you remember this chart, and you need to memorize this chart, you better have this indelibly etched upon the gray matter of your brain. You better, or you'll flunk this class. Here's starting at the middle, or whether the main three. Three, one, two, three this way is kilo. Starting back here, one, two, three this way is milli. One, two, three more is micro. Now this three thing I'll go into in the next video. But that's very important. Don't skip, although we didn't give words, you can't skip those parts. They've got to be there. You don't skip anything. The only other one that's not three, three, three is this one. Centi. That's one hundredth of something. And the symbol is a C. Ooh, that's a tough one. So whatever a meter is, roughly a little more than three feet. What do you call one hundredth of a meter? Well, it's about like this, okay? About like this. That's a centimeter. And you might use that, you probably will, in the medical field. So there we have the basic measurements you're going to use in the medical field in the metric system. In our next video lecture, which is down below this one, down there, I'll go into how we use this chart to do conversions. That's the fun stuff. Boy, we're going to have fun.